Okay, so let's talk about adding and deleting keyframes, as well as some of the other editing capabilities we have around the interface. So let's start with the channel box. The uh, sphere selected, I'll just hover over the location and I'll hit the eye on the keyboard and it automatically creates keyframes there for location and it also automatically, if we remember, in the uh, action editor created an action for that object. Okay, so now let's go to the uh, cube and let's uh, do it another way. We can do it inside the uh, viewport and in this case I'll do location and rotation and then now I'm going to move the timeline forward and move the cube and then uh, location and rotation again and then I'm going to move it back and I'm just going to do another one in the middle here location and rotation. So now one of the ways we can edit our keyframes on a very high level basis is right here in the timeline. Okay so if we cycle through the keyframes with these buttons here, these middle buttons, these middle arrow buttons, we can cycle through keyframes, right? So let's cycle to the middle one, and in the viewport, we can hit Alt-I to delete the uh, keyframe there. So now there's no longer one in the middle there, all right? And now with the Q, with the sphere, uh, we could set this back over to here and do it from here like that, Alt-I, uh, but I'm going to cancel out of that and just do it over here. So I can do it here as well, just Alt-I and it deletes that keyframe. It also gets rid of that action. All right. So now, uh, let's put that action back up there, the sphere action for that one. And let's just delete, I mean uh, add a location and rotation there. So we're both basically starting at the same place, except I want to delete this keyframe here, Alt-I, to delete that one. Okay, so let's go back to the beginning. Now, um, Starting in the dope sheet, let's change this back to the dope sheet. You'll notice in the dope sheet we have access to both the sphere and the cube keyframes. So this is sort of the next level down in terms of, um, you know, level of control. Over here we're just deleting all the keyframes on that, and now we're going into a channel by channel basis, and we have access to moving them around and adding and deleting stuff. So let's uh, move the time slider up a little ways, and with the cube action. Uh, selected, uh, I mean not the cube selected, it doesn't really matter which one is selected, for example the sphere, but if I click here on location and rotation for the cube, then I come over here with I and I can say an active group and it'll make keyframes right there on that frame for the, for the cube, right? So um, if I go in between, I can move the cube here and then I can just hit keyframes here again and choose inactive group and then it'll make that keyframe like that, right? Alright, and so to, to delete these I can just simply use the uh, the border select tool and just hit the delete key and they're all, oops, they shouldn't have been here. I have to hit the uh, A key first to deselect the first ones and we're just going to select those and then delete, okay? So, um, Let's go back to the beginning, and let's look at another with this with the uh, for the sphere. Let's look at another one, another option. So let's go over here and just select one of these channels, the Z location, and let's move the the sphere on the Z a little bit, and then with that selected, I'll hit the I key here, and it will say only selected channels. So, um, oops, I didn't select Z. Excuse me, my my bad. All right, so right there E. Uh, I and then only select the channels and now we have uh, a keyframe only on the Z. So you see now we're getting uh, more specific about what we can add and delete in terms of keyframes by going with the um, the dope sheet. So if I had for example uh, some rotation on this, let's say I just hit the r rotation key like that and then let's do I for uh, rotation, right? So now I have some rotation keyframes there, right? Like that. And let's just say I want to remove some of those. So we can go over here to rotation and where I have the rotation keyframes there, I might want to just say, okay, let me re remove the Y rotations. And so I'll hit uh, the delete key, uh, actually A, and then just select that one and then delete. And then now I have more control that way. Okay?